continuing the entry of emet, of saying the truth. We were saying yesterday how a person has to avoid falsehood because it causes everything you gain through falsehood will lead to loss. Has of shalom. So therefore, a person should not lie. As it says, Pasuk in Yirmiyah, that what, if you would think the Yitzhara will say, listen, it's opportunity, let's lie, let's let's play around with the numbers a little bit, nobody will know. You should know, the Pasuk says, Ose, Osher, Velo, Bimishpat. Person who makes wealth unjustly. Behasi Yamau, Yazvenu, Beharito, Ye Naval. So you know such a guy who makes his wealth unjustly? Pasuk Yirmiyah, Torah says, black on white, in the middle of his days, it will leave him. And at his end, he will be considered Naval. What's Naval? Naval is, uh, he'll be uh, Bechore. He's going to be uh, a guy in the street. He's going to be a guy, uh, Baraban. Empty like Baraban. He's going to be like a uh, rogue. He's going to be a person who is Naval. Or even if he does get the gains and he does get the, the, the riches, the riches will be hoarded by their owner to his misfortune in this world and the next. Which means that this person thinks he will enjoy the wealth that he has, but instead evil men will look to hurt him and frame him for crimes in order to steal his money. Moreover, the wealth will be the repayment for his mitzvot, leaving him nothing for the olam haba. So therefore, guys, all religious guys always come and say, but Rabbi, you always talk about honesty and making money in an honest way, being a good person, Sadiq. Look at this guy, look at this guy, look at this guy. I, you know this guy? This guy, I know he's doing crooked business. Look how fast, in one second, whoop, he bought a house. In one second, whoop, he has a G-Wagon. How, Rabbi? I know with my own, my own two eyes. My own two eyes. I saw how this guy does crooked business, and Hashem gives him baracha, vatslacha, and he has everything he wants. Why? It's not fair. I'm slaving away, grinding over here, doing the right thing, and I'm slowpoke. And this guy racked the riches. Ah, uh, you know what you tell this guy? You should tell him what the Peleuet says right now. The wealth is a repayment for his misvot. He is getting Olam But where is his Olam Abba? You, you're getting your reward where? Olam Abba. So you're suffering a little bit over here. But this guy, what is he getting? All his reward, Olam No Olam Abba. Or, what happens? This money is going to be temporary. But watch, one second. He's going to, FBI is going to walk in, bust him down, and then whoop. Everything has gone. Or he's going to see that what? Evil men, the Pelavite the, 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 says, evil men will look to hurt him and frame him for crimes in order to steal his money. You know that when he did all this crooked business, you, you know how he can't sleep at night? You know how many people are out to get him? You know how nervous he is? He's thinking that, oh, who, I hope they don't get on to me. I hope I, hope I don't get in trouble. And what? Has the be put away. And that we don't wish on anybody. So therefore, what? A person has to know that if you see these type of guys... Don't let the Yetzirah start winking at you and trying to get your attention thinking that you can go and be like them. No. This is the, there's the short, long way or the long, short way. That's what the Chazal tell us. There was, a, uh, there was one of the Tanaim. He came to a crossroad and he asked the little boy, which way should I go to the city? He says, this is the short, long way. This is the long, short way. He says, I don't understand. What's the difference? I want to go the short, long way. It sounds short. He goes short, and then it became very long. He saw the city right there. He went the short path. He saw the city right there. But then it was winding maze to get to the city. So therefore, a lot of people want to get the short, long way. They say, yeah, it's okay. No mitzvot, no Torah. Just, just, just do what's kind for you, what's comfortable for you, what's good for you. And then everything looks short, looks easy. But then they hit the brick wall. It gets very long. And then or Olam Abba, it looks very long. They suffer in Olam Abba. But a person is supposed to play the long game. Even the investors, they'll tell you in business, better to play the long game. The what? Long, short path. And the long in the beginning, you have to slave away in the beginning. You have to grind in the beginning. You have to do mitzvot. And you're not going to make so much money in the beginning. And Hashem's testing you to see how much imunah you have and how much you're going to go and trust in Him. And you push and you push and you push. And in the end, you go through the long way. And then in the end, it's short. And then you have income. And everything's with honesty. And you go to your tzedakah. And you enjoy from your money. You sleep good at night. As opposed to this, quick fix, get rich quick, 
And then you have heart palpitations. We're, we're, we're thinking and thinking and thinking. Why me? Why me? How did this happen? How do I fix that? How do I get out of here? Oh, I should never have done this. So therefore the pillow says that don't fall for the Yitzhara's trap because the Yitzhara is like, what? <coughs> Mashal? Mashal is the Yitzhara. So come, come. I give you. I give you. You need this? Don't worry. Come. I got you. You can say, okay, okay. I'm coming. Come. He starts running. So hey, what's going on? You promised me. Hey, come, come, come faster. Come, 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 come. Go, 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 go. And then what? You finally catch him. He opens his hands. What? Nothing inside. Empty-handed. He told you, he promised you the moon. In the end, you felt like everything was going somewhere. He looked like he was taking you to the right place. You caught him. You finally grabbed it. You, and it's nothing. So therefore, a person has to not fall for this. The intrinsic evil falsehood is something that's disgusting in people's eyes and Hashem's eyes. And therefore, um, you know, even Goim, even Goim know liars are, are people you don't want to be next to. And, uh, and, and a person has to know that a person should not do these things because there's another layer to this, which is Hilul Hashem, where Jews get caught being liars and scammers. It causes the non-Jews to say, We will say, they will say, Now we know the Jews are liars, fabricators, deceivers. And what? They blemish Hashem's name. So don't take Hashem down with you. By going and being a liar and then getting caught afterwards, because we don't want to say has a show. When people say when Goim see these kind of things, things that look nasty in their eyes, what do they say? Uh, and now you wonder why we hate you. And now you wonder why. And you wonder why why we're always against you. Where there's anti Semites, you wonder. You did it to yourself, says the Goim. So therefore, the Pelayo says, do not be in that group of people who are liars and get caught. Don't learn from here to lie and not get. Oh, Rabbi. So the main thing is lie and don't get caught. No, no, has a shalom. You are going to get caught, and therefore don't even play with this game of lying, because not just you take yourself down and your wealth down, has shalom, you blemish Hashem's name. We should also to say the truth and be with the truth. Baruch